What's up guys? Just a couple things I have to do today. Um, the het palmetto was in shed so he hasn't eaten in about a week. So I want to get a meal into him as well as I have that one problem feeder, that sun glow female uh, stripe that I need to boil the pinky. So I'm going to boil some pinkies. I'm going to bring you along on that. Um, that's kind of something weird that I obviously just had to start doing. She hasn't eaten yet. I'm thinking maybe I used, I used the large pinkies. So I just figured I would show you the difference between the large pinky and the small pinky. So on top here is the large pinky and then the bottom is the small pinky. I was trying to give her large pinkies boiled, but maybe she'll eat a couple small pinkies boiled. So it's worth a try. And then what I'll try from here on is doing um, smaller meals. So smaller prey size more often, kind of get that feeding response going and hopefully get a good feeder out of her. Once she gets that feeding response going, hopefully she'll start taking regular food sources as far as uh, you know pinkies that don't have to be boiled so wish us luck and then as for the palmetto I'm gonna be doing the same he's going I'm not gonna boil the pinky but the small pinky I'm gonna give him a couple of them so he can get going as well so this guys is the official pinky pots and no I don't cook food that I eat with this you weirdos but ever since I had to boil pinkies I boil them in this and I don't use it for anything else We have some water that's just about to reach boiling, so I'm gonna take out our pinkies. And just gonna drop two of these guys in there. I guess you could say that they're done. Who knows when a pinky's done, but what I'm going to do is drain it out. It puts out a smell, it doesn't really smell bad at all. It kind of reminds me of ramen noodles. And what I'm going to do is run some cool water, so I mean, I'm not going to obviously put them in there smoldering hot. Make sure that we get them at a reasonable temperature. And there we go. Pretty odd looking, aren't they? See, this girl always looks like she's going to have a good feeding response. And then she doesn't eat. I think it's more of a defensive. All right, time to drop and run. So initially I thought maybe I was going to have to thaw the pinkies out before I put them in the boiling water, but I found success just putting in the frozen pinky and it boiling like that. I mean, I don't think there's any difference. Um, I don't like to thaw out regular pinkies in hot water just because it makes the skin a little bit thinner and it makes them kind of, it makes the pinky pop. I don't know how else to explain that. So that's why I wasn't gonna do it, but boiling, you can just put them in there, right in there frozen. Also, weird sidebar about the about the pinky pot. I did have one time I had a friend over, he was making breakfast, and I saw him flipping bacon, and I was just looking at it, I was looking at what he used, I was like, I don't think we had tongs. And it turns out that he was using my feeding tongs to flip our bacon. So that's gonna happen when you're using kitchen utensils for uh, reptile things, so. Yeah. So here's the menu today. Three regular frozen thawed pinkies for the palmetto, for the het palmetto male. And then I have two pinkies for the hognose, for our male hognose. So they're both uh, gonna be what I would call drop and run. So I just put the pinky in there, I drop it in there. And uh, yeah, that's it. And the idea is to not get him too out of whack. He is right there on the side of the enclosure. 
Um, I don't want to get him too worked up before he eats and then he may not eat. So I'm going to try to leave him alone as much as possible. Oh, there you go. I find that when he gets really worked up, he won't eat, so really want to make sure he eats. So we struck it, but it looks like it was just a uh, defense strike. So it was let go immediately. Now I just... So I definitely failed at not getting him worked up, but we'll see if he eats. The hot noses seem to be on and off feed uh, pretty often, especially the male during through the winter and stuff like that, but hopefully he's getting more stable and getting, you know, a better feeding response now. I've seen a lot of people with hognose that feed very readily. Um, that hasn't been my experience. I just uh, drop them in there and run away and hopefully they eat it. Otherwise, if you dangle it in front of them, stuff like that, you know, like you do a python or some of the corn snakes that I have, um, if you do that, you just kind of scare them and then they just keep on being defensive and they never eat. Now we got little het palmetto male. See if he wants to eat. He was eating at one point. Um, two of the, the smallest of the larger pinkies that I could find. And then I just think that may have been just a little bit too big. So let's try these little pinkies. So three of the smaller size. So unlike a lot of your pythons, especially like things like carpet pythons, um, carpet pythons do well with big meals spread out. And then with these corn snakes, you wanna really do little prey items. And then you can train them on each other, but um, you definitely wanna do more often smaller meals. They're just totally different snakes uh, in almost every aspect. It's kind of crazy how different snakes of the same species can behave. So every time I come in, this girl's just looking for food. Look at her come out. She's coming to my hand. She must smell that pinky that I just gave. And she ate yesterday. She's in no way should be hungry, but did. It looks like I forgot to put her hide in yesterday. So I am sorry. Let me put another one in there, a new one in there. And she's gone. And then this one as well. Very, very ready to eat. We are getting to that point to where we may think about bringing these guys up into a bigger tub pretty soon. You know, they just put on so much size pretty quickly. So there's a comparison compared to the tub size. I mean, it's good for now, but um, I'd like to get them into the next rack pretty soon. Now it is time to sanitize. So I may be a little like germaphobic or something, but I always make sure to wash my hands with soap and water every time I go near a mouse or rat or pinky, whatever it is. I really don't want whatever those rats aren't exactly clean creatures, especially to uh, other warm blooded animals. So I definitely want to keep away from whatever germs are on those guys. Our picky eater hasn't eaten yet, but the het palmetto male Already ate all three of those pinkies, so we are looking good. This one was a quick one today. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm boiling the pinkies and see if these guys ate. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and if you made it this far, you're on the team.